First and foremost, Steve owes me money, okay? Stevie, from the moment that I met you, I knew you were someone who would be in our lives for a long time, especially after Kaylin told me, mm, yeah, he's a cowboy. During the snow apocalypse of 2021, one night he humored one of Kay and I's silly ideas of playing hide and go seek in the dark. Y'all, from that day forward, I knew this man had to be head over heels for Hick Kalen. What grown man agrees to play and go seek with his girlfriend and his friend? I will talk that one up to just true love. Make sure you keep the pantry stocked with goldfish. Learn how to make a mean chicken Alfredo. Treat her to a wine night every now and then. And continue to support our sleepovers because marriage doesn't get you out of them. Someone is a firecracker, beautiful, Hardworking, headstrong, goofy, God fearing, and she only knows how to cook orange chicken in a mean PB and J. Don't touch it. Chill! My third teeth rightly! I let Steve tag along with me, go play some mini golf and play some games. I never fed the guy because if you've seen the guy eat, you'll be bankrupt. So, Steve, you owe me money for that. He owes you money too, right, Zane? my best man in my wedding. And I think everything we know of you and what we love about you was finally realized by the most important person. And she's standing right next to you, man. And as I look back on those conversations as teenage girls had so many years ago, I know she's found everything she's ever dreamed of. I never had any doubts about you, but if I did, they vanished after this one core memory. I remember waking up after sleeping over at Kaylin's to a cup of coffee and a Bible study where Stevie sat down at the table and joined us. It was game over for me for that moment forward. Kaylin, you are beautiful, kind, generous, hardworking, and your energy is contagious. You light up every room, and even though you're younger than me, I've always admired you. You bring out the best in others. You never meet a stranger. You have the best style, which is a perk for me because I get to borrow all of your clothes. And your confidence is radiant. I love to see how you've grown into such a God-fearing woman and I'm more than proud to call you my best friend. I remember about a month after their first date, Kaylin had found a list that she had written a few months prior to meeting Steven. And this list is titled, What I Want in My Future Husband. She sent that to me, and so naturally, I saved this picture for this very moment. Trust, a God-centered relationship, laughter, someone who pushes me every day to be a better person, someone with drive and passion, who is hardworking, who forgives, who is kind to everyone, who is playful, tall, dark, and handsome, someone who will have a long, deep chats with me, someone who go to church with me, who loves family and kids, respects me, is country, likes to dance, is spontaneous, who does the little things, who wants to be better and make the world better, who is sarcastic, who wants to make memories and go on adventures with, to take on the world with me, talk through arguments with me, has a beautiful smile, sees the good in everyone, is appreciative, and is Mr. Fixin. reviewed this list of, you, of yours about a month ago and it is so exciting to see that you have found your husband who checks every single one of your boxes. Stephen, do you take this woman to be your wedded wife? Do you promise to love her and comfort her and honor and cherish her in good times and in bad, being faithful to her in all your days as long as you both shall live? Two. Eat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of our vows. As a symbol of our vows. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. With this ring. With this ring. I be with. I be with. 
Now by the power vested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, in the great state of Texas, and in the presence of God in all these women, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Woo-hoo.